Hello, professors and students. Before I start my presentation, I will make a brief self-introduction. And I'm Su Yuchen from Meiji University, a Chinese student studying in Japan. And my research is about vocarious learning through enterprise social networking technology use. And what is vocarious learning? Actually, it's an observational learning. We learn something from indirect resources. And Vicarious learning actually is a social learning theory, but in my research, I won't use this theory, but describe the learning process on the social media as vicarious learning. And now I'm going to introduce the contents of this research, which are as follows. The seven points. And then the background of this research, this time I will just focus on one perspective because in my master thesis there are many aspects especially learning perspective and social relationship perspective but this time i will present just a part of my research learning perspective and actually in the internet society learning process has a very different style so i'd like to see the practice of learning on the social media so i started my research therefore the purpose of this research is to answer the following question what and how we can learn on the social media and then following the research question i will show you the theoretical framework and the explanations of each theory and mainly in the learning process including the communication visibility theory meta knowledge and transactive memory the first one communication visibility and it suggests that once invisible communication occurring between others in the organization becomes visible for the third party those third party could improve their meta knowledge in this case communication visibility is made possible by the social networking side and then in my research you will see observation seeing the contents of others message helps third party observers become visible and the second one is the meta knowledge meta knowledge is the knowledge about who knows what and who knows whom before people acquire certain knowledge they must know where to get it and how to access the information in my study social media facilitates our meta knowledge to some extent when we want to get the information, we must use the appropriate keywords to locate the information accurately. Therefore, meta knowledge is an essential part in my research. And the last one is a transactive memory. It is a memory system that consists of the knowledge stored in each individual's memory. And in my research, then later on in my research, you will see that individuals can serve as external memory aids to each other and share useful information to solve the mutual problem on the Weibo platform. And the next one is the research method. In my research, I will use the qualitative approach to interpret my data. And then you will see the participants. Participants are N and C, who I got to know from Weibo platform through the mutual air problem. Uh, the two persons are the main participants in this chapter, in this section, learning section. And I have many other participants in my CC, in my research. But this time I just, sh I just show the two persons data. 
and the data collection include online chatting records and qualitative interviews. And the next part is the data analysis. It, it is the most important part in my research. And now I will show you the data, which is from Weibo platform. And what is Weibo? Weibo, uh, Weibo is like Twitter, a Chinese version of Twitter. And this picture, this picture shows how I got to know with C and N on the Weibo platform. And last year, actually, it is a real experience of mine. Last year, I suffered from an illness called tinnitus. So I went to Baidu. And Baidu is like Japanese Yahoo is like UK Yahoo. I found the information there. However, I have no connection with people. The interaction was cut off, so I turned to Weibo. All the information I searched is about the illness, the operations, the recommended doctors, but no interaction with other people. So I went to Weibo platform. And let's see this picture. The yellow one is me, and I have the ear problem. This time, internet, this non-human factor gets me to know and connect with other people. First, I got to know C. We can see the white one is C. And through C, I also got connected with other people. You can see F, R, Q, N, L, these people. And then we got interactions through this process. I learned who knows what and whom which reflects management of knowledge and it also reflects the role of meta-knowledge. So I got the meta-knowledge. First, I got to know people and then got connected and we have interactions. Through this interaction, I learned who knows what and who knows whom. This process reflects meta-knowledge in learning process. And how I connected with this person and in C's uh, post, under C's post, there are many, many comments that provided there that I can observe, observe and choose the person that I, I would like to interact. And this connection is built up in this, on this platform. And this picture through C, I got connected with other networks, you can see through C, I also get connected with other networks, multiple networks that C was connecting to. Therefore, later on, you will also see my data, the interaction with an, one of the networks which C was connecting to. And the pictures I showed about I showed about, about how I got connected with the other networks and during this connection, connecting network is not only human beings but also non-human factors. All these factors play a role in this networking. And we can see first we get connected and then we have the interaction. Through the interaction we share the personal experience, information and knowledge and then because platform social networking sets are the open access that everyone could, could access. And then the communication is visible. And our meta-knowledge and transactive learning is constructed through this process, then learning happens. And this is the real data, the piece of data is a communication between C, C and me. You can see here, I asked when he suffered from this ear problem, how did he solve this problem? And in the underlying part one, and C said that I searched a lot about the illness on the internet. Also, you can see in the underlying part two, he said, I observed a lot and found that in fact, there are many people having this problem. This show 
that C learns about his problem by looking for information online rather than in the traditional way we go for a doctor. And this become possible because the internet, the social media makes communication visible. And from this, we can see that sharing and exchanging personal experience, knowledge and thoughts on the social media platform makes communication visible to the third party. And this communication visibility provides an opportunity for C to reflect and learn about his illness. And this piece of data shows communication visibility. And then this piece of data is a communication between N and me. When she suffered from this illness, I gave her lots of advice after I told her about my way of dealing with problem. N says here, I could sleep better than before. I told her I took Chinese medicine and all that time. At that time, it really worked. N says, I took a kind of Chinese medicine as well, named the Bu Chong Yi Qi Wan, which makes me feel better. And so this shows that I gave my suggestions and own experience to N, and then through this shared experience, N also dealt with the problem in the same way, and it worked finally, and transferred my experience to real practice, and we can see that in this close relationship between us, she retrieved the knowledge that is stored in other individuals' memory. And this is called, this process is called transactive learning. And from the data I presented above, we can see that what and how we can learn on social media. And in terms of learning process, all my data reflects that both human and non-human factors connect people across the time and space, and once connected through interacting and sharing their knowledge, and the, com the communication is made visible, and the meta-knowledge and transactive memory are also constructed. And this is my conclusion about the current research. And then I will work, in the future I will work on I will also work on the social relationship building, social relationship construction. And this is my presentation. Thanks for listening and thank you.